Hello again, everybody. Welcome back to Just Fun Stuff, another Just Fun tour. And we know I'm excited. I'm always excited. But I'm particularly excited today because I am trying really hard to get out of that cold weather feeling. I am looking forward to some sun and that's exactly what we're going to get here on Sea Salt, which is like this beachy, fun town, kind of touristy, kind of just a warm, relaxing place. And that's exactly what I want. I can't wait to get started. So let's go ahead and take a look at our map. So... There's an insane amount of path work going on here. Um, I've never seen a map this covered. There's a few little waterways. One that looks I don't, kind of like an upside down horseshoe there. There's some green in the back. Some definite what looks like residential areas. Kind of up in the corner we have the one main house. Let's go ahead and check out our villagers. We have freckles. There's mint. O'Hare. Bud. There's Vladimir. Lily, Rodney, Gala, there's Dom, and Fuchsia, and of course the dream address is at the bottom. So if you need some sun and some fun, please come on and tour with me. That's amazing. Save it for another time. And of course, it will be in the description along with the creator's information. So please go check them out. Give them a follow. Super talented. With that being said, let's head into Sea Salt. We know that coming out of the airport is kind of kind of an idea of what you're gonna get and look at this road there's a visitor center welcome to sea salt like how pretty is this and we've just stepped out of the airport oh, I love that they've got little books set out like little pamphlets a little area to go in if you need information it's just so cute now, I'm going to go down the road here because right in front of resident services was a few little gifts. So I want to make sure that I pick these up, open these up, and then we will continue on with our tour. Okay, we have simple sunglasses, a yellow balloon, which we love. I love that they have, there's a striped wetsuit. I love that that's provided. And little bubble blowers if you feel like doing something a little fun. It'd probably be really cute too if you're doing any pictures when you visit. We are definitely going to take advantage of these sunglasses. Oh, we are like the cutest. And we're going to hold the balloon because there's a balloon available. I'm going to hold it and it matches our outfit. How cute do we look? Oh, I love it. Since we started going to the left. Oh, hi, Fuchsia. We are going to head to the left and keep going. But look at these roads. I love this. I don't know. There's something really realistic looking about this road. But look at these views. Double bridges. The big, I'm going to call them gazebos. I know they probably have a fancier name. I love the little flowers on the ground. Oh, you can go up a level. I don't want to go up too far. I always get ahead of myself. But look at how pretty. This is, this is what I needed. I needed some sun. I needed some relax. This is everything. Oh, look at the beaches. Oh, it's like a whole little aquarium on the beach. Oh, you can go through the shell arch and it's like, yeah, it's like a beachfront aquarium where you can come and visit and see all the sea life. That is so cool. Those are some expensive fish in there too. I'm just saying. These aren't all the easy to get fish, so that's pretty cool. Back up. <laughs> On the road, kind of doing a loop, but I don't want to miss anything. This might be the closest I get to a summer vacation, and I am taking it. Going across, we have, of course, Nook's Cranny and Abel Sisters, just as is, which is perfectly perfect for this island. This is a little... Oh, look at the little open sign and the curtains in behind. This, again, it's a city. It's a beachfront city, and cities are going to have stores, and that's just so perfect. I love when they fit in so well with an island. And then you go down to the beach. Look at the orange slices and grapefruit and lemons. And you come to like a little beachfront surf shop. So if you didn't bring your swimsuit like we did, well, we were given, 
then you can come down here and get your swimsuit. But I'm loving the customs. Like, this is just so bright and colorful. Like, it's beautiful. A little beach volleyball. Look at how pretty the beaches are. The customs are just so cute. I feel like we need to go up a level now because I saw this. Donuts. What? Oh, is it? I bet you this is a donut. I love an interactive island where you can hold stuff and there's little gifts. Oh, it is. And it's a pink donut. That's so cute. So you can come to the donut shop. Look at that view. Oh, you can come to the donut shop up top. Get your donut. Take a picture, be a donut. That's so cute, and I love the customs. Oh, that's so cute. The tile, the containers, the, the little display cases. I was gonna call them storefronts, display cases. And then the museum's kind of tucked in here as well, which actually has more of a coffee shop feeling than a museum, and I like that, because it's just so fitting for this island. Oh, and then Oh, that's, I think, behind where we were before. We will get there. I'm gonna go back down and just keep following the rock. Oh, look at all the puppies on the beach. It's like doggy daycare on the beach. Oh, the one going in. Look at them going into the water. That's just cute. Cute little details. And then right behind. Oh, you have a juice bar, and again, interactive island, I love it. I am so pumped right now. So now we have to open this present, because I bet you it's juice. Strawberry, I love that it's all pink. All right, now we've got our drink from the little juice bar, which is so cute. Look at these tiles on the ground. And then just little shop, a sunglass shop. Right on the beach. Look at the customs, though. This is so cute. And then up a level. And this is, I believe, where we were. Yes, it is. We were up here before, so. There's just so many different routes to get up here. I feel like we should check this out. Look at the little pools. This is like a little vacation. What's down there? like a pizza shop. Oh, there's so many pretty little elements to this island. I'm losing my mind. Another little shop. This is like a full-blown, like, fancy restaurant. Got the sunken waterfall, which makes sense now on the map with the one waterway. I love the little shells on the inside. This is so pretty. Is this like a, this is like a bar. This isn't a restaurant, this is a bar. I was like, there's some tables, but it's mostly, yeah, there's a DJ booth. Oh, I love it. And of course, a gift, so you gotta stop. You've gotta open the present. Sparkling cider, for sure. We are at like the beachfront club. There is a pizza place down here. How have I not seen that yet? Look at how many places there are to see just walking along. Look at that pool. I love. Is that the. Those are the, like the shred, the standees. And they look like bubbling water at the bottom. And look at that custom. That's so cool. This is so pretty. I'm like semi losing my mind. It's so pretty. And then, look at the, are these beachfront houses? Oh. oh, there's so much to see. Oh, here is our island rep. Beach, please. There is beach everywhere. There is nowhere to not find beach on this island. Look at how amazing it is. Oh, there's a sandwich shop. And Lily. Oh, this is so cool. And this is where the pizza place was. Oh, this is right behind resident services. Oh, I love that. All right, we're gonna go back up 
now that I've discovered this. I'm doing that thing where I get like way ahead of myself, but I mean, it was so pretty. How could you not? Look at these houses. We will get there. I promise you. I just want to make my way one way and then kind of work my way around, but there's so much to see and I am so excited by it. Okay. We are going down from our little club experience to look at this. A little open air movie and look at the little seats. Love that. Okay, and then there's so many little shops. This is, oh, is that a little submarine? It's like a little kiddie pool. This is the cutest. You've got a little submarine custom in like the little splash pad. Then you make your way back onto the street and you have the ice cream shop, of course. Oh, and a little gift. I love the little interactive gifts. Orange mint cone. Of course, we're going to hold that because we went to the ice cream shop. If you are in to taking pictures, the props on this island are amazing. The little add-ons and gifts you can take like a whole video diary of your vacation here on Sea Salt, which is just so cute. Oh, and if you have laundry, just come to the laundromat. It also somehow is a laundromat and like the cutest thing. I'm trying to see where we are and we're finally coming up. To some houses and the main house is right here so I'm so excited to go inside and see what they've done. Okay. How pretty is this? This seems... Oh, the, the floor is the sand. Then I love the cherry blossom rugs and the colors of the wall with the yellows. And the pinks and the way they're built up. That is so pretty. I love that it's just one big, beautiful room all built up. So pretty. Upstairs is the kitchen. I don't know. Can this island get any better? Like, this is so beautiful. I love the color scheme. It's giving... Beachy, it's giving summer, it's giving somewhat retro in a way, and I'm like obsessed right now. Oh, and downstairs is the bedroom. Look at the fish on the wall. Oh my goodness. This is the sweetest little bedroom. I'm loving that wall. And then all the clocks in behind the bed. Like, this is so cool. I want this to be my room. The gaming setup, the carpets, the bed. It's beautiful. I'm just obsessed with the little fishy wall. That is, like, the cutest thing. Okay, that house did not disappoint in any way. And then I saw a little ladder behind for your own little... Cool and a view. Oh, so pretty. I want to stay on this island for a little while. It's just, I'm feeling it's very cold out where I am right now. And this is just giving very warm and very relaxed feelings. There's a little arcade down by the water. There's a lot of, like, Insane detail. Did I get myself stuck in here? There we are. <laughs> A lot of insane detail on this island. All right, I'm following the road. And it's bringing us to a little residential area. And look at this pool. Fuchsia's literally in the pool. And I love that for her. We have resident houses. So we're going to go in and see what they have had done to them. Because, I mean, the main house was just gorgeous. Let's not wait. Let's go inside. 
Rodney's house. It's very diner-esque. This is very cute. And again, very fitting. And I believe there was an ice cream cone out front. So this is like a cool little sit-down spot. Come play some pool. Relax with the games. How Do some darts. Is darts interactive? I don't think I've ever actually done anything with it. Let's try. It 100% is. And I got a bullseye. Can we see that? So I'm amazing at darts, didn't even know. I'm gonna walk back in and towards the pool because there are more residents here and none of them are home, which is just... Oh, we have one that is home. This is like the whole little residential area. And I love this, the big communal pool in front of all the houses, the bubble machines, and only two villagers are home which is like not fair because the houses are so cute on this island but we are gonna go in and say hello to who is home this is very beachy and I don't know if this has been redone or if it's just meant to be beachy I don't know if I've ever been in his house before but again, very fitting. If this is the way it came and the way he loves it, it's so fitting for the island. Back outside and I'm just heading onto the beach because this caught my eye. There's little shops everywhere and I love that. Oh, it's like a little bakery or pastry shop right on the beach. And look at the little chair set up with the tables and the customs like... I don't know. I don't think this island could get any cuter. I just want to stay here. Like, it just, I can feel how warm it is and relaxing and beautiful. And I just, I don't want to go. All right, we are back oh, onto the streets and we're behind where that kiddie pool is. So you can do an entire lap of the island. And not miss a beat, which is awesome. I love how many different directions and ways you can get into things. Now, this is definitely a gate saying, go up. But what am I going up to? Is this a diving board? It is. It's for, like, cliff diving. One, two, three, dive. That's amazing. So, if you're brave... And you're really looking for something to do on sea salt. Come find the diving board. What a cool idea, though. Where do you come up with this stuff? Oh, we are in second residential area. And this is the main waterway that I saw. That's kind of like, oh, this is the horseshoe. I was like, there's one that looks like an upside down horseshoe. That is... This one, which is the outdoor theater. Okay. And then residential area. And I kind of skipped past this little viewing area where all the wild flamingos are living. It's all kind of blocked off so you can't disturb them. But if you're into nature, look at the butterflies and the dragonflies. And then you've got the flamingos by the water. Like, so perfect. Got your boat set up. And then again... The little residential area. Look at the little... Oh, and the secret beach. What a cute way to do a beach add-on. They've made it like part of the yard. That's so perfect. So they literally have beachfront property, which is amazing. All right, let's go inside and check out this villager's house. Definitely the way that he came with his house. Vladimir said, I like my concrete. It's beachy outside. This is my house. And that's perfectly lovely. Oh, I love this island. This is exactly what I needed. I needed some sun because... Again, it's really cold where I am, and I just need 
I need to feel some warmth, and I'm feeling that here. We're down by that pool we saw earlier. There's Lily again, but look at how pretty, like that. Beautiful, and there's a restaurant, something. I'm gonna say restaurant? Up top, so you can come and get some food. And come and relax down by the pool. Oh, I love this. Right, you can go up and over. It's a sushi restaurant. <laughs> oh, the fish up top. It's a sushi restaurant, and I love the way the stands are outside, and it's all set up so you can sit and relax, and you can hear the water, and it's just soothing. And you know that's fresh, because look around you. You're literally in the middle of an ocean. There's beach everywhere. Like, this is perfect. I love the custom, too, on the sign. It's so literally realistic. I love it. It's amazing. Back down. And we have more. Oh, this is just. Look at the beach and the boats set up. I love that you can't get past here because it's setting. It's making that perspective view. And it quite literally looks like those boats are on the water. That's so good. So perfect with the placement like how long would it take you to sit there and create that and then stepping back and making the water and then figuring out exactly where to stop somebody that's visiting so you get that perspective that's phenomenal amazing job we're back over here because i saw some more residence houses and i'm obsessed with the little yards that they have put together it's so cute each little cluster of houses is like its own little separate thing. You have the main group of houses in the back that had like the communal pool, and then you had the other ones that were sharing that beachfront lot where they had their little table set up, and now you've got this one that's its own little corner unit. Look at how fancy and pretty, I love it. We do have a villager home, so obviously we're gonna go in and say hello. This is Mint's house, and Mint is living in Mint's house. I know this because early, early, early on, on the days of Funland, I had Mint, and this is the house she came with. So, definitely her house, but I am not mad at it. It's, it's breezy. I love the colors. It's so perfect. The floor looks like Mint. It's wonderful. Back outside, listen to the music changes. It just sounds so tropical. Look at the towels set down on the beach. And then you've got live music down by the water. There's just so much to do on this island between restaurants, little shops, food shops, visiting the neighborhoods, going to all the pools. Go get some sushi. It's just so warm and inviting. Look at how pretty this is. We have more. We have another residence house down here. Tucked away on the beach. And I see little pigs. So I'm going to go out on a limb and say this is Gala's house. But let's go inside and say hello. We were 100% correct. And Gala is, um... She's got some money. She's set up. She's got like a banking situation going on here. She's... And I feel like you... You kind of have to have some money to live here. This doesn't feel... This island doesn't feel inexpensive. It feels very touristy. Like it would cost a bit. So, Gala might be in the right business. Right, we are back outside onto these beautiful beaches and down where we were with the pathway. See, I told you, eventually we will get everywhere. It just takes me a minute, but look, oh, look at these houses. I love this style of house. I'm sorry. This is one of my favorite builds of all time. I absolutely adore the bunk bed. Houses with the simple panels. I am a simple panel girly. 
I love to do the customs and create the houses. And this is just so perfect. And it's giving like townhouse cabana feelings down by the water. That's perfect. I love that. Like that right there says to me beachfront property. Like I love it. That's so beautiful. Love it. And then just simply. Oh, this is where the campsite is. Tucked down on the beach so perfectly behind the wheat. And you've got the little fire pit going. Like, that's so beautiful. Back in. And we're at the visitor center. And we have done an entire tour of sea salt. Like, did you not feel warm <laughs> the entire time? Like, that was so warm and inviting and beautiful and just everything I needed right now like deep down in my soul I needed to feel like I was warm and this gave me everything I wanted it's so pretty so many things to see customs are amazing the design the layout is amazing the beaches the pools 100% come and spend some time walk around it's one thing to watch it which is amazing. Thank you for watching with me. But I mean, just to go onto it and check it out yourself is another thing. But if you did have as much fun as I did, don't forget to leave a thumbs up. Subscribe to the channel. You guys know I am so overwhelmed. And thank you so much for all your likes, comments, subscriptions. It's truly, it, it's, it makes this so much more fun. I would do this anyway, but I love interacting with you guys. Thank you so, so much. And as always, you know, I'm going to be back with more Animal Crossing videos.